Let's check out this nice number theory problem from a 2017 Australian math Olympiad. So our goal is to find all natural numbers A and B such that 2017 to the A power is equal to B to the 6 minus 32B plus 1. And I'd just like to point out here that by natural numbers, I mean positive integers. You can solve this to include zero as well. Maybe I'll leave that to you to do on your own. It's fairly straightforward. There are only a couple of solutions when A and or B are equal to zero. Okay, so I'm gonna break this into two cases. My first case is when A is even. So I'll just write a is equal to 2n for, well, some natural number n. Because, of course, any even number can be written as 2 times some other number. Okay, but now let's observe that we'll have b to the 6 minus 32b plus 1 in this case equal to 2017 to the 2n, which is, of course, equal to 2017 to the nth power squared. And you might say, well, why are we going to write it like that? And that's because we're going to use the fact that this is a perfect square. And then we've really like changed the problem a little bit. We've said, okay, can we determine when this left hand side is also a perfect square? So let's write that down. So when is this a square? Of course, that doesn't totally solve the problem because a priori, there could be lots of places when b to the 6 minus 32b plus 1 is a perfect square, but it's not a power of 2017, but it at least simplifies everything a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to look at a couple of observations. So the first one goes like this. So let's notice that b to the 6 minus 32b plus 1 is most definitely less than b to the 6. Well, that's because we're taking b to be a natural number. Natural numbers start at 1, so this minus 32b plus 1 is at least subtracting 31. It's probably subtracting more. But now let's observe that b to the 6 is a perfect square. So it's b cubed squared. Okay, well, so we've got our object, if you will, is less than a perfect square. Now we're going to show that it is most of the time bigger than the preceding perfect square. Okay, so let's look at that. So also, let's notice that uh, b cubed minus 1 squared is less than b to the 6 minus 32b plus 1, if and only if, well, a couple of the following conditions hold. Well, I'm going to string together a couple of if and only if statements. Okay, so if and only if b to the 6 minus 2b cubed plus 1 is less than b to the 6 minus uh, 32b plus 1. So that's just expanding this left-hand side. But then that's equivalent to the inequality that we get after moving some stuff around. Well, let's see. It'll be something like this. 2b cubed uh, minus, minus 32b is bigger than 0, which in turn holds if and only if b squared minus 16 is bigger than 0, which means that b needs to be bigger than 4. Okay, so now let's put these two facts together. So this thing right here and this thing right here. So let's link them down here and notice that now we have for all b bigger than 4, we know that b cubed minus 1 squared is less than b to the 6 minus 32b plus 1, which in turn is less than b cubed squared. In other words, we know that our b to the 6 minus 32b plus 1 is not a square, 
which means there is no solution. Because, well, we at least needed this b to the 6 minus 32b plus 1 to be a perfect square to even think about having a solution. Okay, but notice that's only for the cases when b is bigger than 4 and a is even. So that means, well, we also need to look at the cases when b is less than or equal to 4. And we can actually just work those out one case at a time. So let's notice that if b is equal to 1, then that means that b to the 6 minus 32b plus 1 is equal to negative 30. But notice that negative 30 is not a power of 2017. Well, it's also not a perfect square, but, you know, we can maybe go back to our original need of it being a power of 2017 if we wanted to. Either way you look at it, we get no solution here. So I'll just put an X here to show that there is no solution. And then, well, you can check what happens if B is equal to 2. You actually get everything collapsing to the number 1, which is 2017 to the 0, which is one of those extended solutions, if you will, but we're not considering that. And then, well, if B is equal to 3, we get b to the 6 minus 32b plus 1 is in fact equal to negative 634. But again, that's also not a power of 2017, so there's no solution here either. And then all that's left is to check the case when b is equal to 4, but I'll let you do that on your own. Which means that we've sorted out everything in this first case when a is an even number and found that there is no solution. So let's move on to the case when a is odd. So we just worked through this first case when a was even and we saw that we had no solution. Now, well, now let's look at the case when a is odd. So in other words, we can write a as 2 times n plus 1, where n is now a non-negative integer. Okay, so now let's throw that into our equation over here. So that means we have b to the 6 minus 32b plus 1 is equal to, I'm going to write this as 2017 squared to the nth power times 2017, just using exponent rules over there on the right-hand side. And now we're going to use a different trick than we did before. Before we used, you know, a kind of a standard technique in these types of problems where we pinned this polynomial in B between two perfect squares, two consecutive perfect squares. And well, for this next case, we're going to use modular arithmetic and use the fact that only certain numbers are perfect squares if we pick the modulus carefully. Okay, so now, well, how do we pick the modulus? Well, let's look at what we've got here and see what would simplify the situation the most. So we've got a b to the 6, we've got a 32b, we've got a 2017. Notice if we were to work mod 5, 2017 is 2, 32 is 2, and then we can use Fermat's little theorem to write b to the 6 as, well, let's see, it'll be b squared. And then I think stuff will simplify quite a bit. So here, like I said, we're going to use the fact that 2017 is congruent to 2 mod 5. 32 is congruent to 2 mod 5. And then nominally, b to the 5th is congruent to b mod 5. But if b to the 5th is b, then b to the 6th, well, that's going to be b to the 5th times b, or b squared. And of course, that last line is by Fermat's little theorem. Okay, great. So that means, well, what we'll do here is take this entire equation and reduce it mod 5 and see what we get. So this b to the 6 will turn into a b squared. This minus 32b will be minus 2b, and then we'll have a plus 1. And then here we'll have what? Well, that's going to be equal to 2 squared, in other words, 4 to the n power times 2. 
But now that's not equality, that's congruence modulo 5. But now let's observe that this left-hand side can be factored. And in fact, it factors as b minus 1 squared. And then the right-hand side can be written as 2 times negative 1 to the n mod 5. That's, of course, because 4 is equal to negative 1 mod 5. And now let's break those into cases. So notice that that's equal to 2 uh, mod 5 in the case when n is even, and that's equal to 3. That's because negative 2 is 3 mod 5. So 3 mod 5 in the case when n is odd. But that means that, well, 2 and or 3 are perfect squares mod 5, but of course they're not perfect squares mod 5. And, well, we can see that simply by squaring things mod 5. We can look at this quick table of k and k squared mod 5, and what we'll see is we never see 2 or 3 on the right-hand side of this table. So let's see. We only need to look at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, because that's a complete set of residues mod 5. So 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, but check it out, 9 is also equal to 4 mod 5, and then 4 squared is 16, but 16 is 1 mod 5. Observe that we nev never got 2 or 3. So we could maybe finish this off with the following line, but 2 and 3 are not squares mod 5. So well, what does that mean? That means that we have no solution in this case either, because any solution that we would get would imply that 2 or 3 was a square mod 5, which is, of course, impossible. So putting this all together, we've got no solution when A is even. We also have no solution when A is odd. That means, well, we've got no solution at all, and that's a good place to stop.